Hello, I'm Yolanda Brown and I'm here at Henry Wood Hall with Vasily Petrenko and we're going to speak all about inclusivity. What does inclusivity mean to you and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra? Inclusivity is part of our lives. We all included in the society, we all included in this world and the world included in us. So to us, as for the orchestra, uh, it is very important that everyone is included in our music, in our classical culture. We are the part of society. We want to embrace the society and we want to be embraced by society. Of course, we all want to work with the small communities, especially in London, and we want to be present in the smaller, smaller parts of London, but we also want to be at a, at a big stage. The classical music is accessible by everyone, and we want to give a chance for everyone, every child, every worker, everyone of the middle age, everyone from the older age to come to our concerts and to enjoy the classical music, to learn something from it, to find the beauty of it and to understand it personally for each and everyone, what it means for them and what it changed in their lives. And what are some of the actions that you will bring to the fore to make that happen? Uh, first of all, we'll have a very different approach for the different programs. We will have a programs which will be oriented for the different parts uh, of society. But obviously we will have a theme which will unite all of them. We also would like to expand our presence in the Royal Albert Hall, bringing the big symphonies, the big uh, pieces of music, the big oratorios into this Colosseum in London. And I think the place deserves it, because outside of the proms there's not so much of the classical music happening. But also we will bring musicians into the smaller communities, we will bring musicians into the smaller parts of London, most noticeably in Brent as a new initiative, uh, around Wembley, around that uh, territory, and there's a huge project w which will involve a lot of musicians from the orchestra individually, which will involve me to come and to talk and explain about music, and literally everyone. We're looking forward into improving this side of our activity in the future. And I guess it's about keeping up with the times then. How do you redefine the orchestra for the modern age? The orchestra have to be modern. The orchestra have to go together with time, and the orchestras always were changing over the years. I think the time when the orchestra was a place where everyone was just come and worship the orchestra is past. Uh -huh. We are here together with everyone. We are here for everyone. We are here to be a part of the family. We are here to invite everyone. We are here to embrace everyone, we are here to bring everyone into this beautiful world of the classical music. We are here to make the life of everyone better. Of course everyone will individually decide what he or she likes or dislikes, but we hope that classical music will play a vital role for every individual to understand its place in the world, to understand its emotional perception of the world, and to understand what is essential, what is important in their lives individually. This is what classical music is about, after listening of the big symphony, a very dramatic symphony. <laughs> To me personally, the best result when probably even next morning people understand that something important happened in their life, something improved in their lives, mentally, emotionally. And uh, for me, this is a s slow improvement of the life quality. And we want to improve the life quality for everyone. There's no boundaries. Yes. We're aiming for everyone to have more fulfilled emotional life better social life, which is probably very, very important in the upcoming months of recovery. And for that person that's thinking, I really want to see an orchestra, I want to try classical music, I'm not too sure. I mean, these are the people you're speaking about now, bringing them into the world of the orchestra. What would be some encouraging words that you would give to them? I think, first of all, that you have to try. You don't need to be afraid of the classical music. I think it's accessible to everyone. And you can understand the classical music even without knowing any actual words or language. You don't need to know biography of composer to come and listen to his or her symphony. 
uh, you don't need to know even what century this music was composed. The music is emotional explanation mm. of the thoughts of of mental activity, or sometimes of the physical activity, of dramatic happenings. It's, it's emotional explanation of the life. Mm. And of course, you, if you're coming to the concert with open heart, with open mind, you will feel it without knowledge about the harmony or polyphony or the other music disciplines. Uh, all you need is to try it. All you need is to come, to try, and to find what exactly is in it for you. I think everyone can find it. Mm -hmm. 